So in this video, I wanted to take a look at some Lamy cartridges, some Lamy converters, two Lamy pens, and then how they all sort of fit together. In this video, we have a Lamy CP1, which is a uh, Lamy fountain pen that's very skinny, a Lamy Vista, which is a safari style fountain pen, some refill ink, doesn't really matter what, and then three Lamy converters. We have the Z24, Z28, and the Z27. Uh, I've done a few videos about the Lamy converters, and the, obviously the main difference is that some are red and some are black, but functionally, you'll see that the black ones have no guide posts on the side. They're very skinny. They could fit any Lamy cartridge converter pen. The red ones, like this the Z28, they have these little knobs here on the side. Same with the Z24, little knobs. And uh, those will be guide posts to fit into pens like the Safari, Vista, LX, AL Star, uh, so on and so forth. And we'll see that this pen has holes for the guide posts right there. And that's just, it like, put it in, you line it up, and it clicks in really nicely. So we'll get rid of this uh, cartridge, save that one for later, probably will, uh, sorry about that, I probably will refill it. And you can see that this will fit in here, and we'll line that up, line that up, nice click action, it feels extremely solid. If I do that with the one of the black ones, it's like the Z24, uh, the Z, sorry, the Z26 or the Z27, will it fit in there? Yep, fits in quite nicely, feels very solid, but no guideposts. So it will twist. Uh, doesn't really make any difference, but some people like having those guideposts there. So that basically covers the Safari style pens. Again, that would be Safari, Avista. AL Star, LX, and then a few others like ABC and the Nex and some of those less popular ones. Here with a pen like the CP1, in other words, a non-Vista style pen, we see things, sorry, a non-Safari style pen, we see a little bit different. You uh, see that there are no guideposts here and a very short body here. So I'll take this one out. These refills are about shot. Probably just refill them. And we could see it was made to work with this piece right here. And note how there is a shoulder here and a step down so this fits together because this piece is very skinny and uh, it will not, basically this wider part will not fit into the black. It requires that step down. Here we have the older one, this is the Z24. This does not have the step down and it will not fit with this pen. Again, that's the CP1. Uh, it will fit with some of the older, like see older skinny pens, but not all of them. Now we have the Z28, which is the new model. This one does have the step down. This will fit in there. It has the guide posts, but the guide posts shouldn't make any difference. So we'll just confirm that and see if it slides on. So it is not going. So the guide posts are preventing that from being used. And that's, I guess, an extreme case with the CP1. So it's a good thing we did that experiment. But now we know CP1 will require this Z27 cartridge converter. Put it on, put it on, push it down all the way, good to go. With the Vista here, uh, you could choose between the Z24 and this uh, Z28. Just for reference, we'll grab this pen. This is a Linea, another 
older pen, but also in the CP1 style. And we know it'll fit here, so I don't have to play with it there. But here we can see, will it fit with the guideposts? And again, guideposts prevent this from going in all the way. So the red ones will be a non-starter with some of the skinny pens. I guess you could shave the guideposts off, but that would be on you. And then uh, let's see what else we have. One more while we're testing. This is a logo. This is skinny, but not super skinny. So this one we see, it has a raised threading here. Uh, so uh, worth noting. And now let's test out the body with a guidepost style refill. And again, it's hitting the threading. So uh, this one may actually work, but like it's probably just hitting the back. So I think this might work, but again, it's gonna be a toss up. The wider idea, the bigger picture is that you're gonna to wanna to stick with the cartridges or get this black Z24 universal style for most of the pens, except if they have a wider body like these. And again, for this one, Best bet will be actually we'll go with the older one, the older style, with does not have the step down here because that we know is not required to work with a Vista. You're gonna get it, give it a pop, and line up those guideposts, locked in, nice little click when you push it down, and you're good to go. Looks quite cool. You see the red coming through. The black would be lower key, but uh, the red will work here. The red will not work here. So we're gonna keep it like that. Filling is very easy with these, if that's even required, but basically you're gonna put it in here. I'm using this, uh, lighting's not ideal, but uh, Pelican or Pelican 4001 quick dry ink. I'm going to submerge the nib push that down blow the air out and pull it back in obviously missed some of that cameras a little bit more zoomed in but you could see filled up most of the way and you could offload and reload the ink a few times if you want just to get a maximum fill but this is good enough for now screw it in give it a little bit of time to get going and you're good to go now your vista has been nicely upgraded to a cartridge uh, converter style pen i don't know where i put the cap but we will recap this Give this a wipe down and all set. So that's it. Deep dive into your Lamy cartridge converters and the different cartridges and, uh, sorry, different converters. Thanks for watching.